Hello, residents and team members. I'm John Snader, President and CEO at Brethren Village. I'd like to take this opportunity to summarize steps we are taking to reduce the risk of the spread of COVID-19 in our facility and how we handle team members who may exhibit symptoms consistent with COVID-19. Brethren Village continues to take proactive measures to protect our residents and team members. We have been adhering to the recommended control measures and guidelines of the Centers for Disease Control and the Department of Health. The safety of our residents and team members remains paramount and we immediately update our infection control measures as new information becomes available. We will continue to restrict visitation to the facility and screen on a daily basis all Brethren Village team members, our contracted service partners, and vendors for any signs of exposure. We also continue to limit entry to our healthcare areas so that only direct care professionals and other essential personnel may enter. All team members continue heightened hygiene practices. Now, with that being said, we are a healthcare organization and we need our team members to report to work to provide vital care and services to our residents. All team members and residents are at some risk for exposure to COVID-19, whether in the workplace or in the community. Everyone entering our campus is actively screened for presence of symptoms consistent with COVID-19 and absence of fever. Team members are instructed to not report to work if symptomatic or exposed to COVID-19 in the community or other work setting. Our infection control nurse has created detailed guidelines based on CDC guidelines that specify when team members can and cannot report to work. Team members are instructed that if symptoms develop during their workday, they are to immediately apply a face mask, report to their supervisor, and leave the facility. If a team member's own healthcare provider has recommended a COVID-19 test, our infection control nurse contacts the Department of Health to determine whether the team member is eligible for an expedited test. If a team member tests positive for COVID, we will be able to track which residents and coworkers the team member has been in contact with so those individuals can be notified and closely monitored. The work area of any team member being tested for COVID is thoroughly disinfected per cleaning protocols of the Environmental Services Department. Team members, residents, and visitors are instructed to avoid close contact and maintain social distance of at least six feet from other persons. Residents are actively screened for symptoms consistent with COVID-19 and temperature and pulse oximetry are recorded at least every 12 hours or more frequently as needed. Residents are educated to report signs and symptoms of illness to nursing staff. We acknowledge that there is not enough protective equipment nationwide to meet needs. Resident volunteers are currently working on making cotton masks for non-healthcare team members. Direct care team members, such as nurses and aides, wear more extensive PPE, personal protective equipment, appropriate to their position. If you or someone you know knows how to sew, please contact Joanna Rudisil to join the mask-making effort. I'd like to thank the group of residents on campus who are presently working hard to produce masks for our team members. We also know and have seen that information is constantly changing. Please continue to inform yourselves of updates via our communication channels. Residents, if you have questions, please reach out to your social worker. Team members with questions, I refer you to your supervisor and to www.bv.org for guidance. 
Thank you for the steps that all of you are taking to reduce exposure on campus and care for each other. These are challenging times, but everyone at Brethren Village is working to help ensure the safety of our residents and team members.